very much, and welcome back to this Just In radio show on Hymns Radio here at the Hymns 16 Annual Conference in Las Vegas. We're live from the Hymns uh, Expo Center and the Sands Expo Center here uh, in Las Vegas. And uh, thank you very much again for everybody here in person joining us and certainly online. Uh, very excited about my next two guests. Um, usually we have one, but now we have two. You guys have so much to, uh, to offer, and I'm very excited about this topic because Georgia is my home state. So. Hala Modelmog and Tom Croto is joining us. Hala is from Metrolina Chamber. You're the CEO. You've been there about a year now, a year and a half? I uh, Two years. Two years now? Mm -hmm. Time flies. Um, and Tom, you were with the Georgia Department of Economic De Development, and you work with Chris Carr, I believe, over there? That's right. Fantastic. That's right. Chris and I, I think, now have been friends for almost 20 years. One of my first friends, and I moved down to, to, uh, to Atlanta from, uh, from Boston. So great to have you both. So let's talk a little bit about, because, I mean, First of all, you are the only state, Georgia is the only state to actually have a booth here at HIMSS. And this is many, many years. This is uh, David Hartnett's uh, brainchild um, from many moons ago. But how, do you know how long that's been? I don't know if it's been five years or six years or seven years. How long has that been? Seven years that, that the state of Georgia uh, in the city of Atlanta in the Metro Atlanta Chamber has been investing in having a booth here at HIMSS. And so that's just fantastic. And I appreciate and applaud you guys. But what would you have to say about that? Well, this is a great show, obviously, and, and, and this is where, you know, all the leaders of the industry are. Um, and Georgia has more than 225 yeah. uh, HIT, health IT companies now. Um, so it would be crazy for us not to be here. Right. And we have the opportunity to showcase some of the smaller companies who maybe wouldn't have an opportunity to come and have a booth themselves. Uh, and they have a space under the Georgia Pavilion with us. Yeah, and one thing that uh, I just learned being out here is that uh, HIMSS actually started in Atlanta, Georgia, 1961 at Georgia Tech. And of course, Georgia Tech is one of our greatest assets. And then as Tom said, 225 HIT companies, and that represents almost 30,000 employees in Georgia. So we are very proud to have a booth here. Yeah, no, and, and, um, and not only, I mean, you guys, uh, the work that your, both your offices uh, have done uh, and certainly with uh, with Dave's leadership as well as we are Atlanta and, and Georgia, healthy cap health IT capital of America. Absolutely, absolutely. So. And we, we brag about that quite a bit. Uh, and one of the reasons I think that we can say that is not only the volume of companies we have, but because we're so heavy into fintech, mm -hmm. mobility, and cybersecurity, and then you add the health IT there, the way all of those technologies work together and become even more interdependent is one of the things that I think makes us a very special place for health IT companies. Would you agree, Tom? Yeah, that's right. I mean, we really say that that we're at the intersection, the intersection of all of those industries that, that really are, are so important to each other uh, from a talent perspective, from the uh, perspective of, of the fiber infrastructure mm -hmm. that they rely on, uh, and really from a, a standpoint of critical mass. Yeah, so that was my follow-up, is just, uh, you know, why, what brings this magnet? I mean, where did all these companies, I mean, I remember, because I was with McKesson or HBO and coming back in the day, that's kind of what my start was, and I started a couple companies in the Atlanta area. But, you know, what is that magnet that brings people to Atlanta and to Georgia to, um, to create these companies and health IT specifically? Well, I think there are several things, but I will mention, because I think Tom alluded to it, is that we have, we're in the top five in the nation with uh, more broadband mm -hmm. and fiber. And Atlanta sits right in the crosshairs of the Northwest and, um, not Northwest, North, South, and East, West yeah. uh, groups of the things coming through Atlanta. So we people know we have that. Yeah. And then again, when you go back to all the other technologies that are really strong, and you go back to Georgia Tech and just the things that have grown up there, I think it really is a magnet for almost uh, any kind of technology company, but certainly uh, health IT. I think you also have a value chain in Georgia where you can do everything from uh, research and development uh, to product development, uh, uh, clinical research, uh, and manufacturing all in one place. And when, when you look at some of the infra infrastructure to support that. You've got the CDC that's headquartered in Atlanta. Uh, you now actually have the U.S. Army uh, uh, Cyber Command Center oh, that, that is headquartered in Georgia, and 115 cybersecurity companies. Uh, you've got uh, this great fiber network. So you ra have a lot of things that are working together 
Um, and then you throw in places like Emory University and, and Georgia Tech and the talent that's coming out of those places, and, and that's really what we're seeing, uh, a lot of innovation as well. Yeah, so that was kind of my next question, and you, you alluded to it, but what, how, what position do the universities play or the role that the universities play? Because, I mean, when I'm thinking about you know building my companies and hiring, I certainly reach out to all the university systems in Georgia uh, to feed my own needs, but, but is that, what you, with the, that a great strategy, or what do you guys see? I mean, in, in economic development these days, we see that more than ever. Yeah. We see companies that are not only interested in being close to the universities for the pipeline of talent, yeah. but they want to be there for the culture, the culture of innovation. They want to be part of the college campus now, yep. just not close to it. And we see that with Georgia Tech. We see it with Emory, with Morehouse School of Medicine. Uh, even with uh, Augusta University, the, the former uh, Medical College of Georgia and UGA. So th there's a lot of that synergy that's going on. So what are the, some of the incentives? Um, because this is strong and obviously, uh, you know, when I talk to Chris a lot about, you know, attracting more companies to Georgia and, and certainly in Atlanta, what are some of the incentives that uh, we offer in Georgia that nobody else offers? Or what are some of the main incentives for even the city or the state? I'd love to know. Yeah, um, we offer some, I think, very intriguing incentives that, that have to do with uh, providing not only tax credits to company uh, companies, but uh, we've got a incentives that really are geared for companies that, that pay, uh, that have higher payrolls to be able to turn mm -hmm. some of those credits into cash uh, that, they, that they can uh, then funnel to their operations. And that's really unique. Traditionally, in, with government and economic development circles, you have resources that could only go into assets. Georgia actually has resources that can go into your working capital without strings attached. And that becomes very powerful for companies that are trying to grow. Yeah, and with Georgia being rated the number one place to do business for the last three years, and we're certainly going for that fourth year, I like to point out when, when we're comparing various markets that we actually compete with um, at the Metro Atlanta Chamber, we mm -hmm. look at you know, the tax base certainly in all of the markets that we compete with, but we also look at the pension obligations because some of the markets uh, sound pretty good on the surface, but if you have not kept up with your pension obligations the way right. Georgia and Atlanta has, you can get caught down the road. So we try to make sure that we cover all the bases when we are trying to attract companies. And the other thing I would add is that one of the things that, that we do at the Metro Atlanta Chamber and the state of Georgia certainly does is something that we call aftercare which is when a company makes that decision to move to Atlanta or to Georgia and they decide they're going to expand, we make sure that we are there for them, introducing them to customers, yeah. making sure they have what they need, they get their certificates, they get the training. We've got a great educated workforce um, uh, initiative going on at the state and at the chamber and around. And those kinds of things are sometimes intangibles, but we do a really good job of that. No, that's fantastic. So what are some of your goals for being here this year in HIM 16 in Las Vegas? Well, we talked about this this morning. We mm -hmm. said, you know, what would success look like yeah. today? And what we decided is that it would look like we would be talking to companies who were ready to expand in Georgia mm -hmm. or move to Georgia and just to really make sure that our relationships are strong. And I can say with all enthusiasm, we haven't had one unsuccessful meeting today. Everybody has been very welcoming. And frankly, it's good to be at an event like this because you can just remind people of what we have to offer. Yeah. And you know, sometimes we all are just doing our, our jobs, but to be able to sit across the table from some of the CEOs we have today yep. uh, has been really special. And I, I have to do a shout out to AirWatch by VMware oh, yeah. because Alan DeBerry has been such a great friend great. to Atlanta and yeah. Georgia. We were with Ingenious Meds, Hart, Williford this morning, a small company growing exponentially. It's just incredible. Oh, yeah. And then you've got ShareCare. You know, Jeff Arnold is a is a rock star from the Atlanta, Georgia oh, yeah. area. So we we really T Green from Greenway. T Green. We had a great meeting with T Green. This he morning. is on yep. fire. That's right. Uh, I think I met with him right before you guys met with him. Yeah. Uh, so we uh, I'd say it's been great. What about you, Tom? Yeah, absolutely. And and then there's uh, McKesson and Healthport. Yep. All scripts, uh, Navicure, so many here for us to interact with. 
and to foster those relationships. But also, we want to brand Atlanta and Georgia to the health IT industry. Yeah, no, I, uh, I agree. And, and first of all, you guys have done a great job fostering it, uh, bringing the opportunity. What you do for small companies and, and the pavilion that you offer uh, here is just invaluable. You, I mean, for a very low cost, comparable to what other people spend to come to a national conference like this with 40,000 people, 99% of companies can't afford to do it, but you make it affordable for them. So I always have one or two investments always in um, in your uh, pavilion. And I appreciate what Dave Hartnett has done for that. And he fosters that and takes care of me every single year. So, you know, I appreciate wholeheartedly what you guys do. And, and um, you know, the early days, I was uh, an early executive uh, at HBO and Company. Then we merged with McKesson. And then I was an early executive at Greenway. So all these companies that you guys mentioned and, uh, you know, have been certainly key parts of my background and in my past and gave me phenomenal opportunity. So, again, I appreciate w what you guys do and how you foster, you know, that innovation. You foster us as executives. You foster a fertile community uh, for us to do business. Um, so just, you know, I want to say thank you and certainly say thank you on air for all that you guys do. Well, thank you for giving us the opportunity yeah. to be here. We got you. it. So thank you very much for joining the show today, Hala and Tom, and you guys have a great rest of the conference. And if you need any assistance while you're here, please reach out. I'd love to help out. Thanks so much. All right, take care. Bye, guys.